Hi guys, welcome back. This is part two of our project web-based control and monitoring in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with Micro C Pro for PIC for absolute beginners. Let us go to Micro C and start our code. Gonna start a new project. Standard project. You're gonna name it web-based. Web-based control, browse. We're gonna use the PIC 18F45K22. The device clock is gonna be 8 megahertz. Next, next, finish. We're gonna write some few comments about this project. The first step, we're gonna create an HTML page that will be displayed in a web browser to control the microcontroller. This HTML code will be saved inside the microcontroller's RAM in our character variable string web page. Whenever we send our HTML code to our web browser, we're gonna send it together with the HTML header. The content tab field is used by the browser to tell which format the received document is in. A text HTML is identified as an HTML content and the text plane is identified as an ordinary text. To write an HTML page is really easy. We're gonna use a notepad to create our HTML page. The first tag to write is HTML and close it with another HTML tag. The next tag is the body tag. We're gonna also end it with a closing body tag. This is where all the content of the website will be stored. Everything you want to be visible on the web page should be inside this body text. We're gonna now create a form. The input method is gonna be the gate. Inside this form, we're gonna have a table. The background color of our table is gonna be light gray. We're gonna create three rows inside our table. Each row is defined by a TR tag with a closing TR tag. So this is our first row, this is our second row, and this is our third row. A table cell is defined with a TD tag. The first row is gonna have only one cell, and the text is gonna be web-based control and monitoring with peak microcontroller. The text color is gonna be royal blue, and the size is gonna be five. The second row will have two cells with two buttons, one for relay A and one for relay B. The input name will be TA for relay A, and the value is gonna be toggle relay A. For relay B is gonna be TB, and the value is gonna be toggle relay B. The last row is gonna have only one cell, and here we're gonna display copyright 2017 student companion with an hyperlink to our website. Gonna save this web page and rename the extension to HTML. Okay, rename dot HTML. Yes. If I open this page, this is gonna be our GUI. Whenever you click on toggle A, it's gonna toggle our relay A. And whenever you click on toggle relay B, it's gonna do the same. So this is basically what will be displayed on our PC to control our two relays on our peak microcontroller. We're gonna write this HTML code in our micro C code. Character string web page. And this is our web page code. You're gonna see there is a small difference between this code and the one that we wrote on our micro C code. With micro C, every time a double quotation mark is used, like in this case, input or get, a backslash must be inserted before it, and at the end of the line, another one must be inserted. This is just needed by the compiler and will be omitted after a successful compilation. Without these backslashes, the compiler will generate errors. In micro C, a backslash is used as a continuation character to extend a string constant across line boundaries. 
It also used to introduce an escape sequence which allow a visual representation of certain non-graphical characters such as a new line character. For more information, please read the micro C help file for character constant on this link and the string constant on this link. The second step is to set the Ethernet controller MAC address and IP address. These are the definition for the chip select pin which is going to be connected to RC1 and the reset pin to RC0 of our network interface controller. You'll have to give a MAC address to your Ethernet board. In this example, this is the MAC address that we're going to give to our Ethernet controller board. And this is the IP address. We're going to use 192.168.0.5. You can use a different IP address in the range that you are using in your local area network. If you intend to set up connectivity beyond your local network, then the DNS, the gateway and subnet address may also be defined here. The third step, we're going to write the code in our main function. We're going to configure port D as output with tri-state B equals to zero. We're going to configure port C and port D as digital input. So we're going to disable the analog functions on port C and port D. Then we're going to initialize the SPI module. Then we're going to initialize the Ethernet module. Step four, we're going to write the code inside the SPR Ethernet user TCP function. This is where the user request to toggle relay 1 and relay 2 will be processed. With micro C Ethernet controller library, you have to declare the SPI Ethernet user TCP and the SPI Ethernet user UDP even if you're not going to use them. In this case, we're not going to use the user UDP but we still have to declare it. We only gonna use the user TCP. When the web browser sends an HTTP request by entering the URL 192.168.0.5, the microcontroller will send the HTML code to be displayed to the web browser together with the HTTP header. Any receive packets are checked and the function continues if the packets are of the type gate. Then the command tail is checked and the relay I toggle is required. So if the command tail is TA, then the microcontroller will toggle RD0 to toggle relay A. And if the command tail is TB, it's going to toggle RD1, which in turn is going to toggle relay B. The transmit buffer is loaded with the HTML response and the length of the buffer is retained from the function which then send the buffer to the PC. And the last step, in the while one loop, we're gonna read data in an endless loop using the function SPI Ethernet do packet. Let us compile our code. And resolve TF 16 bit. Okay, we're gonna disable this library. We're not gonna use it. Compile again. Can now finish successfully. Let us go to our simulation. Right click the ENC28J60. Edit properties. This is the host adapter number or IP address. So basically, this is going to be our PC IP address. Right click. Open network and sharing center. Change adapter settings. Ethernet. This is our Ethernet card. Properties. Protocol version 4. You can see this is our PC IP address. You can click on help to learn more how to simulate this chip. The Ethernet physical interface models provide access to the local network from the simulated schematic. The simulated network controller works through any existing Ethernet network card connected to the local network. 
If you want to learn more how to set up your card, you can read this section. Or if you are using the VMware software, you can also go through these steps how to set up your network card. But you must always remember before running the simulation, you must install first the WinPCAP software. You must download the latest version of WinPCAP auto installer, including the DLL libraries from their website, which is www.winpcap.org. These are the steps how to install. Without this software, your simulation is not going to run. Okay, close. Okay. So we're going to run our simulation. Run. This LED shows the network activity. Let us open a web browser. You can use any web browser. You can use Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, anything you really want. In this example, we're going to use Firefox. So we're going to tap 192.168.0.1. Can see it load our form. Let us minimize this so that we can be able to see our microcontroller as well. Toggle relay A. You can see the relay A closes and our light bulb switch on. Toggle A again is going to switch off the relay. Toggle on again. Toggle relay B is going to switch on our motor. Toggle again is going to switch it off and so on. So basically, whenever you click on the toggle relay, this is the command that is sent to the microcontroller. TA equals toggle plus relay A. You toggle B is going to send TB equals toggle plus relay B. So basically, this is how you can control any device connected to your PIC microcontroller from a web browser. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.